Hi, I'm Shane with UTR.com. Today you're going to be taking a look at, let me show you how to install, the Rhino Rack Roof Rack with our Vortex Aero Crossbars on our 2017 Ford Transit T150. For this particular installation, uh, you have your fixed mounting bracket, which mounts directly to the roof of the vehicle. And then for our aero or for our vortex aero crossbars to work with our fixed mounted legs, we're going to have the RLTP uh, adapters. What a roof rack is designed to do, it's going to allow us to free up space inside the vehicle to allow us to carry it on top of the vehicle. Now for our particular installation, you can see our spread has to be a little bit wider. Typically, your crossbar would be here. This would accommodate your roof baskets, your cargo carriers. But for our particular installation, you can see we have a vent in place. Our customer is going to be using this as their camper. They're going to be converting it into a camper like a lot of people are doing nowadays. With it being spread out this far, this is going to limit some of the things we can do. However, with it like this, we can still get our, our kayaks up there have them tied down. We can still get our ladders up there if we need to, maybe some wood products. Uh, you just want to make sure any of the items that you do place on your roof, you want to make sure number one, your roof can handle it, and number two, your crossbars are able to handle that load. Our Vortex Aero crossbars are going to have a weight capacity of 165 pounds, have a very nice aerodynamic design, it's really going to cut down on wind noise and drag. And one thing that's going to set these apart from others is they're not going to have a front or a back. They're only going to have an upper or down, so they can be installed either way. Each crossbar is going to be constructed of an anodized rust-proof aluminum with a black powder coat finish that's going to eliminate that concern of our roof rack rusting later on down the road. There's going to have a channel here on the top, and this is for any of your items, uh, your channel-mounted items, maybe bike racks, uh, some of your cargo carriers that may not fit around, they can slide in the channel here. And how you do that is you just pull out the rubber strip, slide your channel mounted items in, and then you're going to cut your strips to fit in the gaps. Now, another nice thing about this rack is our end caps are going to come with pre-installed plastic locks with a key. Now, these locks can be changed out for metal ones if you prefer, uh, but what this is going to do is once you have your items in there, you're going to put your end cap on, you lock it, this is going to deter, deter anybody from coming up and stealing those items off of your roof rack. Each crossbar is going to be 71 inches long. You can see it's going to extend out past our legs, so it's going to give us a much wider area for mounting any of our rooftop items. A couple of measurements I want to give you. Um, it's going to be from our roof here, you can kind of see how it bows. From our roof here in the center to the bottom of our crossbar, it's going to be about an inch and a quarter. So just keep that in mind for any of your roof mounted accessories that may have a foot that wraps around and locks into place, you want to make sure you're going to have enough space there. For our outside here, on the inside of our foot pack, we're going to have about two and a half inches. And outside here, we're going to have about three inches. Another nice thing about this setup is it's going to be a no drill application. It's going to mount directly into factory weld nuts inside the roof of the vehicle. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. We're going to start with our arrow crossbar. In order for this foot pack to work with this crossbar, we're going to need the adapter kit, which is going to look like this. One kit is going to work for both uh, legs or both feet. We're going to start by taking this bolt out. Large bolt on the bottom. We're not going to be reusing this. We're going to take this, sit in place just like that. You're going to have a small hex bolt, lock washer. Flat washer looks like this. This is going to go through the bottom, like that, and it's going to thread into this plate. You want that to slide right in the end. Take a 10 millimeter socket. We're not going to tighten this down all the way because we're going to need to adjust it a little bit. We just want to snug it up like that. I'm going to be able to move it. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to have some tread that looks like this. This is to seal this top 
in your bar. One's going to break down on the wind noise. Two, to help keep any water out. And what it is, is this, is for any of your mounting or any of your items that you may mount up here, you take this and you cut it to fit in between the gaps. So it will actually close them off. You can see we have a flat surface. <clears throat> Our mounting locations are gonna be here, you have one in the center, and you have one on the front. This is just a plastic cap. Take a flathead screwdriver. I'm just gonna work it like that. And pop it up. We're gonna have a hex bolt, lock washer, flat washer, and we're gonna thread it. There's actually a threaded spot down inside of this hole for this bolt. Take a half inch socket. We're gonna make sure that this is straight, make sure it's not, you know, turned. And then we'll tighten it down. And you're gonna repeat that for the other side of the vehicle. Now we'll take our crossbar. We're gonna set it into place. We're gonna line up the feet like this. And before we tighten anything down, we wanna take a measurement of both sides. We're gonna measure from this edge to the outside. We want that measurement to be the same. We're about seven inches here. Now we'll measure the other side and make any adjustment necessary. Once you have your measurement done, go ahead and tighten your foot down to your crossbar. What we're gonna do, we'll go ahead and pull our crossbar over, or off, flip it over, and you'll notice the gap right here. We're gonna take this extra piece that we cut off, and we're gonna fill that gap. That's gonna help cut down on any whistling that may occur when we're moving. like that and we'll do the same thing to the other side. Once you get your foot set back in your base, you're gonna have four bolts like this. Two for each foot. It's gonna have a raised center and this is to keep any way from stealing your rack off of your vehicle. You're gonna put a flat washer on it, or I'm sorry, a lock washer and then a flat washer. You're gonna have one that goes on each side of each foot. It's gonna go through the foot and it's gonna bolt right down into the base. You're gonna have a tool that comes in your kit. It's gonna look like this. And it's for these bolts. You'll notice how this is curved. You'll know when these are tight enough when this straightens out. And you see how that's straight. It means we're tight enough. We wanna make sure we don't over tighten it. Then we can put on our end cap. And we're gonna get a key to lock our caps in place. And we'll do that same thing with the other side and then with the front. Once you've got both your crossbars installed, you're ready to load up your favorite accessories and hit the road.